Alright, and we're here to talk about Diddy. Diddy, 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 Diddy. And listen, nigga made the song, I'm coming home, coming home. Tell the world that I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday we didn't know that pain he was talking about was the free cost we didn't know the rain was the baby oil and the lubricant and we didn't know his home was in jail so anyways as we going through the chronicles of the diddler and talking about his naivety and his coonery he's doing he's not looking good for the black folks he was supposed to be black excellence but apparently he's black trash but anyways Apparently, one of Diddy's former bodyguards, which, hey, listen, as much as you was a former bodyguard and you was not in the operation right now, you could have been doing some shysty and some fuckery back then. He alleges that he, Diddy got his lifestyle, his freak off behavior from Russell Simmons, the nigga who ran away to Bali so he wouldn't get caught up in this bullshit. I told y'all. I told y'all. Did he probably know them Guala Guala boys? That boy would have been in Bali with Big Russ over there. Having a good old time. Sipping that wine. Shipping over the baby oil and the lube. Ready to get back in the little freak off activity. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, man. Hey, man. Let's talk about this shit real quick. He also names Uptown's Andre Herrera. Hey, Andre Herrera. I've heard too much about this nigga for you was a freak. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. There's one nigga that should get locked up and listen. Hey, I ain't trying to disrespect this man. Listen, I know you was in uh, Boys in the Hood and you was in them old movies and shit. But Cuba Gooding Jr., bro, the way you was caressing Lil Rod, bro, that shit has to be studied, bro. You, you put your ass in jail. That never again. Never again. But anyways, as I get into it, I ain't gonna lie. One day some of these niggas bro gonna see some of the bullshit I say for these niggas. They'll be like, why the fuck you got smoke for me for? Like nigga, y'all niggas go on some bullshit, bro. And I, I ain't got no filter. I just say it. But anyways. Diddy does not have a lot of people in this corner right now. It seems everybody who dealt with the bad boy mogul is either happy or surprised to see him go down. Diddy's former bodyguard, uh Gene Deal or Gene Deal again. <laughs> Is no exception. Uh, Dio recently sat down for an interview with the Art of Dialogue. Yo, does this nigga get paid? Yo, the amount of interviews I've seen this nigga be on, bro. I hope this nigga getting paid. Anyways, uh, he not only claimed that Diddy belongs behind bars, but went on to allege that the mogul learned his excessive behavior from the moguls that came before, namely Def Jam co-founder Russell Simmons and Uptown Records CEO. Andre Hera, now Andre Hera, I heard about you for a long time. If you don't know, a lot of the time before Diddy had Bad Boy, he was running around. I think um somehow he got into the good graces of Andre Harrell. He liked him. He wanted him to be an intern while he was going to college. That didn't work out. He apparently dropped out and then started working properly at Old Town Records. A lot of people say that, hey, for all this behavior and the allegations that Diddy might like men, Andre Harrell kind of did some fuck shit with him and he kind of carried that shit on. So now y'all adding Russell Simmons in there. Russell Simmons, this nigga in Bali, it is what it is. He had some shit like, hey, yo, I know I did some bad, but I helped niggas in. Yeah, y'all can say that, but you did some fuck shit as well. We got to hold you accountable for that fuck shit as well. It ain't like you a nigga trapping, selling narcotics to feed your family and put food in your kid's gullet. Nah, you was over there. Sure, you was making niggas money, but you was doing some fuck shit. Nigga, one doesn't equate to the other. Yeah, you could have helped niggas and you put them in better positions. Perfectly fine. You know, so niggas was on tough times. Niggas was uh, wheeling, dealing, and potentially killing. But, fam, you was on some bullshit your damn self, bro. Hey, motherfuckers say the best. If you do the crime, nigga, you got to do the time. <laughs> I don't know why you scared to do the time when you was over there doing all that shit and living out of line. But anyways, Gene Deal stated his tirade off by laying the blame squarely at Diddy's feet. He doesn't hold anybody else accountable for Diddy's bad behavior uh, other than the man himself. He did, however, point to the men who mentored Diddy during the early period of his career. Deal cited uh, three luminaries within the industry in particular. I hope I said that word right. I don't know. You got to realize he learned from Andre Harrell. The ex-bodyguard alleged 
He learned from Russell Simmons and he learned from Clive Davis. Oh, shit. Y'all put Clive Davis in here, man. I kind of fuck with Clive Davis, but oh, well. Uh, Diddy uh, worked under Harrell when he was an intern, like I was saying, at Uptown Records in the early 1990s. It was Russell Simmons, however, who Dio alleged was the most notable influence. When those people are telling you what they were heavy into, telling you they were heavy into the drugs, Dio explained, uh, they was heavy into beating women and doing things at that crazy stage. That's going to make him think that he can get away with the same thing the ex-bodyguard claimed, that he saw similar behavior traits whenever he was at Simmons' home. I'm not going to say alleged because I saw that for my own self, he asserted. I can make a man into a monster. That's what I did. Russell Simmons, like Diddy, has experienced a fall from grace in recent years. The hip-hop legend was accused of a uh, S.A. aka sexual assault by multiple women in 20 that was 27 jesus christ that nigga been in bottom in 2017 simmons vehemently denied these allegations in 20 in a 2018 statement issued by rolling stone they have shocked me to my core or shook me i guess shook me to my core as i never been abusive or violent in any way in my relations with women he wrote despite his denial more women accused him of assault and slash or rape simmons stepped down from his duties at def jam uh, interestingly enough russell simmons was one of the few people who defended diddy when the mogul's dark past was coming to light also um if you don't know there was something called all deaf entertainment where the comedians like kev on stage you know patrick cloud all them i didn't know he owned it so after that whole shit that was going on they i don't know who bought it but they got that and they continued making content on there so hey far from grace far from grace that's really all i gotta say but yeah, man, it's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna, I can never live in LA, bro. LA just got some bullshit. Every time I read some of this shit, bro, I'm like, nigga, I don't wanna be famous. I just wanna have money. Cause y'all niggas be on some bull, like, I'm good, bro. It's like, my people's taking care of my nigga. I'm chilling. Like, I just don't understand, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, again, I know we talk about it. Listen, hey, there's some secrets in them hidden hills that we don't know about. Us regular motherfuckers that ain't made it there yet, we don't know about them secrets in them hidden hills. So, hey, I ain't trying to be no conspiracy theorist, but hey, when you do dark, it, when you do when you do some shit, it does come to light. So, hey, we will see what happens more. I ain't gonna lie. If Diddy's going down, I feel like other niggas is going down as well, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Russ Simmons just got to Bali. I'm telling you, Diddy would have went to Bali. I'm telling you, bro. But this nigga was trying to get off. Maybe he liked being in the States, bro. Nah, it is. I just don't know, bro. The diddler is the diddler, my nigga. I don't know. And I know they recently put him on Suicide Watch or whatever have you. I get it, but, bro. Like I said, don't do that shit if you can't do the time, my nigga, at the end of the day, man. It's some fucked up situations. But what do y'all think? Comment down below. Links in the description. Besides that, Friendly Neighborhood KA sign off for today. I'm gone. Shlamzoon Pishaj, gang. Aye.